Hello, hello. Welcome to Empress Black Tarot. Today we're going to be doing a reading for you, Aquarius. If you are here and you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Okay, Aquarius, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on between you and your person. I have pre-shuffled as I always do. So let's see what needs to come out for Aquarius. Clear and concise messages for Aquarius, please. Thank you. We have date, sunglass, and soulmates. On the bottom of the deck, we have separation. Okay, guys, I'm not going to quite guess what's going on here, but um, I do know someone is um, spying on you. Someone's watching you. Um, you do have the date card. This can talk about meeting somebody new or online dating, um, making plans to go out on a date with someone or an energy of like getting back out there, especially after this separation. For some of you, you will be coming into contact with a soulmate. Um, but Right in between soulmate and date is this person spying on you, Aquarius. <laughs> Interesting. Let's go here. Can we get messages for Aquarius, please? What are these messages here? You and this person also could have been soulmates. I have yin and yang. That's twin flame energy. That's you guys, you know, being opposites, but fitting together like a puzzle piece. Like it works. You guys, you know, are very different personality wise, but it works. We have community. It's coming out around under sunglass, guys. So this could be this person is watching you and, um, Maybe when you're with your family or your friends and you're out and about or they're checking for you on a community website on the internet. That's the energy that I'm getting from that, guys. I'm also getting an energy that you guys are maybe spending more time with your family. I have journey. This is which path do I take? Which way do I go? That also can indicate something new and it's coming up under soulmates. On the bottom of the deck, we have indecision. Okay, guys, so there's some confusion here. Let's keep going. Let's see what needs to come out. What is this message here for Aquarius? We have the King of Pentacles and the Empress. Okay, guys, this is Earth energy. Some of you could be dealing with the Earth sign. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. We have the Ace of Cups. Okay, guys, so... For some of you, I feel like this is your past person. This is giving me the past energy you guys met and you guys were madly in love. Like your person admired you. Your person thought that you were very beautiful. You were everything to this person. Um, on the card, this person is holding uh, the pinnacle very close and very dear to their heart. And in the spread, it's facing the Empress. This person was focused on you. And we do have uh, new love here, but I'm not sure if this is new love that you have coming in or if this is telling me about you guys past, but let's keep going. 
This is your past energy because here's the Ten of Swords. Okay, guys, that's a deep betrayal or a hard ending or, you know, avoiding an ending. We have the Seven of Cups in reverse. This is confusion. What is real? What is not real? I think that this person, um, you guys had a conversation. You have very, very hard conversations with this person. You guys may have had several arguments and the person never, never told the truth. That's the energy that I'm getting here. I have the King of Wands in reverse. That's fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Six of Swords in reverse. The Ace of Swords in reverse. There's the lies, guys. Coming up under the love. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Nine and Ten of Swords. Nineteen Swords. Three of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Okay. So this ending was because of your person. Your person's choices that they made. They could have, uh, there was a third party interference here, guys. It's always here. I have the three of cups. I think that your person is wanting to come in and reconcile with you and you are not interested. You're ready for something new. That's why this ace of cups is here. The king of wands is in reverse because you're not willing to put in the work to make this work. You have the six of swords. You are leaving this situation and you're taking a lot of hurt with you. You know, you're taking your swords with you as you move on, but this person lied. This person lied, this person betrayed you. You have 19, 20, 26 swords here. I feel like this is something that you guys accepted for a long time. On the bottom of the deck, we have the sun in reverse. You know, you're not, you don't have a positive outlook on this relationship. Um, I have the Ten of Pentacles and the world also on the bottom of the deck. Not with this person, but you want it. You want a family. You want it all. You want children. You want family. You want a commitment. And you want success. And you want to complete what you start. I have the Knight of Pentacles here, ready to work. This is you, Aquarius. This is you looking for love. Look at here, the Queen of Cups. You want love. And here's the Hierophant. You want a solid commitment. You want stability. Some of you want to get married. I have the Six of Pentacles. You want equal give and take. Give to me in the way that I give to you. You have the Two of Pentacles, guys. You could um, have choices here. You could have a choice in love after this, this hard breakup, guys. All right, let's get a few oracle messages to see what needs to come out. Aquarius. This card wanted to come out. Past life relationship. Okay, so karmic partner, there it is. So you guys, your past person was your, your karmic partner. You guys, um, you met in another lifetime. You knew each other before. We have apology on the bottom of the deck, guys. That's what this, that could also indicate what this Ace of Swords is, but you guys didn't accept it. Messages for Aquarius, please. I don't see a chance for uh, reconciliation here. I have isolation. You guys pull back your energy from this person. You guys could also be a little depressed, especially carrying around all these swords. And you could be, um, that could be why the community card is here. Spirit is urging you to get out, you know, get out of the house. Don't sit and sulk and be sad about this person. I have a divine masculine. The divine masculine has come out.
We have spring. Fear and anxiety. That's that depression coming up under isolation. And we have stuck at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so you guys are stuck. We also have fall and third party interference. So this could have happened for some of you in the fall and we're now in spring. So you guys could have, um, you know, have dealt with this two seasons ago, which would be, would be about maybe six months ago. Um, and you guys are ready to get back out there and date. But your person is still spying on you guys. I have unexpected message. Not sure if that's going to come from this. I Actually, I do feel like this is from the new person, guys. I have a divine feminine now showing up, guys. Give me one more. Aquarius. Spiritual protection. Guys, divine is bringing you someone new in, Aquarius. Um, it is spring. It is spring now. For some of you, this is happening now. This is going to be happening very soon. I have a divine masculine, a divine feminine here. We have spring and an unexpected message, divinely guided by spirit. So spirit is also telling you to come out of that isolation and that fear and that anxiety because it's time for you to move on. We have good luck and karmic lesson. This person was a lesson, guys. It was a lesson that you were to get from this person. But the energy has changed here. You have good luck. You have good things coming towards you. You're going to have to make a life-changing decision here, guys. It's, that's why the journey card is here. Which way do I go? I think that this new person coming in, especially with yin and yang coming out... You guys are going to be, like I said, very different, but it's going to work. What do we need to know about this new energy coming in, guys? Excuse me. What do we need to know about this new energy coming in? We have the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Death, Four of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Seven of Cups. In this person's past energy, they wanted to be free from something. They were holding on very tightly to a relationship and they finally took their blinders off. They finally decided to move forward. In their current energy, they are taking an assessment on where they where they are now. Am I ready to move on? Am I ready for commitment? And they are with this Hierophant card being here, guys. In your future energy, you have death here. That's a new beginning. Something having to end so that something new can come in. We do have the Seven of Cups here. There's some type of confusion, uh, a choice to make. Um, this could also be tricking yourself. But we have the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. This person wants commitment, guys. Um, hmm. Okay, so what 
Wow, Aquarius. Okay. You guys, so this is beautiful. So what I'm seeing on the bottom of the deck, the seven of cups is coming out because this person is going to be an option for you. You guys have two kings here. You have a king of cups and a king of wands. You guys are going to have a decision to make between two people here. That's why indecision is here. And you have the lovers, guys. That's having to make a decision in love, right? Okay, we have Scorpio here. We have Gemini. We have some water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And you guys, we have the Empress here with the moon and the Emperor. This is Aries, energy, and Pisces. You guys are going to have a decision to make. We have the two of swords, the two of cups in reverse, and the ten of cups in reverse. You guys are going to have a decision to make, but this person is your is uh, your soulmate. That's why soulmates came out. This person is your soulmate, but you have moon, so you're going to be a little afraid, a little, you know, that's why fear and anxiety came out, and that's because of your past, guys, but spirit, that's why these messages are here. They're telling you, your past energy was necessary for you to learn a lesson. It wasn't your person. They were only here for a season. They were not here for your lifetime. But I feel like your lifetime is coming in, guys. Okay, let's get you some advice before we get out of here, Aquarius. The main thing is... For you to get clear on what you want because this is happening really quickly Aquarius seven of cups came out twice guys it's here and it's here and I have the three of cups that's going to be you going out on dates with several people and having to make a choice when on who you want to commit to can we get advice or messages for Aquarius, please. We have a time for healing. Communication is key. Yep, guys, you guys got to go ahead and make sure that you are healed from your past. Surrender to divine, guys. Spirit gives you free will. But if you need help to just get you over the hump from healing from this person, you have to ask Spirit to come in and help you. Have faith in your dreams. If you want the Ten of Pentacles, guys, if you want family, if you want children, if you want a partner, if you want a white picket fence, a house, whatever, <laughs> Have faith in your dreams. And this is not only as far as a relationship. Any dreams that you may have. These are just general messages, guys. On the bottom of the deck, we have you and your loved ones are safe. You guys are spiritually protected. Okay, Aquarius. That's been your reading. You're going to have a choice. You're going to have a choice between multiple people here. And one of them is going to be your person. I'm excited for you. Okay, guys, if you are still here and you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Aquarius, enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll catch you on your next read.